and welcome to my channel love being brown on this channel i showcase myself traveling informative reality style Are you excited? That boat is big. It is big. All right, y'all. We just got on the inside. We just checked our bags in. Hayden, are you ready for your cruise? Yeah. We're loading. Hello, hello. Oh, Alright y'all, we just got the tour bus and now we're into the shops in Freeport. So we're just gonna walk around, we'll show y'all a few of the sites. And after that, they give you an opportunity to go to a hotel and to the beach there and the pool is there. So let's go. Freeport is the main city on the Grand Bahama, an island in Northwest Bahama. English is the official language of the Bahamas. Freeport is a 600 kilometer free trade zone of the Grand Bahama Island, established in 1955 by the government of the Bahamas. It's best known for beaches, resorts, snorkeling, and shopping. And there are lots of shops all over Freeport, including lots of warehouses. We shopped and then we ate. All right, so this is where we had originally got dropped off. Um, it's part of the tour package where you go to this hotel and you get there to enjoy the amenities. So from the shops, we're walking up here now. We only got about an hour and a half left to go swim at the beach. Okay. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this video gets you on your class right here. Thank you. What's the hotel called? The Lighthouse Point. Okay. All right, we signing in. Kate and Queen. In the pool, <laughs> Choma and Cameron are down on the beach. And this one claims she cold. I guess we'll find out in a little bit if she can handle staying in there. She's got to babysit, so she's got to get used to it. The birds are enjoying it. Our Charma and Cameron. Come on, swim the TT. Travis Porter, go shorty, shorty. Uh, Travis Porter, go shorty, shorty. All right, be careful like that. All right, and so at the hotel, they play a lot of music. As you see, we are wobbling, getting in there. We're currently at the Finn's Diner. This is one of the. I guess upscale diners here. You see, I already done chopped my little um, spring rolls in half. You get three meals. I'll show y'all all three. Hey, y'all, that was um, chicken and macaroni and cheese. My sister has some shrimp grits over there, but um, she ate the shrimp grits. Y'all see, I left that, that macaroni and cheese alone. So, you know, she was salt and pepper couldn't say that. Later after that, we went and saw an onboard show. This was a really cute show. With lots of singing. Um, they sing the Margaritaville song that they're known for. Lots of dancing. It's my own damn fault. I see the conga. As you see, I'm still sitting here. And I'm just recording the people do the conga. But it was super, super cute. Now, I can't quite remember how long this show went for. But I think it was at least an hour, maybe an hour and a half. And this is actually the end of it. Um, all over the ship, you can find different things to do. And Margaritaville actually has all their stuff on their website, so you can check it out. Yeah. Uh, Queen eventually went to bed during that um, show, but me and my sister, we went to karaoke. So here you see me up, shaking it, swinging left and right. Because <laughs> why not? You're on vacation. Um, so this young lady is singing, uh, obviously, Tina Turner's song, Rest in Peace, and everybody's up dancing. Now, all the songs didn't have everybody up and grooving and doing everything with them, but there's a young lady up front with red hair, and I'll tell you, she was pumping everybody up all night. So 
I decided to get up front and join in on the fun. So it was super cute. And uh, yeah, but there was even more to do. Like this was late at night at this point, but I think we stayed up just a little bit longer than we went to bed. <laughs> All right, guys, good morning from my porthole. This is the last day. Um, we've made it into the harbor here, and we're about to get off the ship. We It's 7 a.m., so we have, like, to be off by 9.30. So, yep, I woke up, opened the window, and we're pulling in. So, let's get ready to get in this trip. All right, guys, it's our last morning. We deboard in about two hours. And so I'm drinking a mimosa. This one has a banana, banana da daiquiri yeah. virgin because she's back in a miracle. And it wouldn't matter. This thing's like 20. <laughs> yeah, this one do. <laughs> but anyway, so we brought a euphoria lounge. We're about to head back down, have breakfast, and head out of here. Cheers. So if you didn't have a chance to catch our first video um, about Margaritaville and what we did the first day, you kind of got a recap in this video. But would we do this cruise again? I think for the majority as a family, no. You also saw in that first video how we were able to cruise for free. To pay your port taxes and something else, like three things that I have to pay for myself. So I'm going to add everything here. If you are going to do a Margaritaville cruise, they do have where once a year, heroes cruise for free. So if you want details about that, you got to go watch that video. But as a solo person, yes, I would do it again. Why Monday? You're ruining my life. <laughs>